Hi, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Hardcore Series. I actually have a sniffer right behind me. He's sniffing some stuff out right now. What are you, gra what are you grabbing, dude? Why is he, why are you sniffing stuff? This guy is just constantly sniffing. I mean, look at these nose animations. They're just constantly moving up and down. Whoa, that's a big sniff. Honestly, kind of up close, they look like a big green and red and yellow dog. I'm gonna walk this guy past our trusty camel. And actually, what's going on, camel? How you doing? Oh, he's just laying. This sniffer is so big, man. This, What's going on, camel? How you doing? He's actually, he's just chilling. I can't wait to make a camel sanctuary too. I mean, today we're probably going to focus mainly on the sniffer, but I wanted to bring it to this side of town because this is where our custom cherry forest is going to go. This isn't custom yet. I just planted a bunch of cherry trees for right now because I need a lot of wood. We actually have a double chest and almost another double chest already filled up. These things make so many saplings when you tear them down. Also, uh, we got a bunch of leaves also because, you know, I mean, they're going to be great for decoration. Okay, and this guy, what is, I actually have not seen this yet. What did you just bring up? What did I just get? A torch flower seed. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think you need this to breed them, but uh, can you plant them as well? Sir, I'm going to hook you up right here. Just chill and stay chilling. I'm going to go to the water real quick because uh, I think we can just use the hoe, make a nice little garden plot here and plant the torch. Fl oh my God. Look at that. Okay. I cannot wait for the torch flowers. Oh man, this is going to be great. We also have pitcher plants that I'd like to get as well. There is too much in this update, man. So I do want to make more sniffers because more sniffers means infinite torch flowers and uh, more torch flowers means a happy wax fraud. So let's go ahead and uh, get more sniffers. We got to get more sniffer eggs. So we got to go ahead and explore in order to do all of that. But before we go exploring, what I wanted to do is show the new 1.20 gold boar. This is just like the other one, but we made it out of birch and cherry wood. So you might see some stuff that other people are doing as well because it's just some basic stuff for the new update that I just want in this world but I want the sniffer sanctuary the camel sanctuary flower petal farm also the new library with the chiseled bookshelves an armory with all of the new trims a bamboo house completely made out of the bamboo and the stripped bamboo I also wanted to do a pot museum with all the new types of sherds that you can find a custom cherry blossom grove that's going to go right here as soon as I take all of these out I'm going to start replanting them and I might do a long play as well because if you add spore blossoms add other flowers and stuff you can turn it into a crazy cool biome and not to say that it's not because i mean these pink flowers falling from the trees are great but uh, it could be more and then we have the hanging sign storage the hanging signs unfortunately they uh they only have 16 per spot instead of 64 so they're gonna take up a lot of space in the storage so i was thinking we might have to just uh we might have to just make a new building walk inside here and this is the loot from the last episode we have blocks of bamboo we have all of the sherds and the smithing template for the armor trims but these hanging signs i mean look at them they don't i mean it could be 64 but instead it's 16 so i think we need to make a new storage space for them and speaking of the storage spaces i have a new one right here for the pitcher plant that's going to go here the torch flowers can go here i have the pink petals already in place and the wood if we go over here i actually took the nether wood and I'll, I'll show you where i put that new storage but i have the cherry wood that i'll bring all over here and the bamboo wood that i'll bring up here as well the nether wood i actually brought over here i thought it would only make sense because this is the nether wood farm so if we walk over i have a double chest now filled up with the wood that i gather from this area i figured you know what since we gather it here might as well just leave it here and I haven't been in here for a while, but you know, we might as well gather some wood while we're chilling here. And also, before we go out exploring, there's one thing, actually maybe three things that I wanted to do real quick, and that is get some villagers unstuck on stream. And by the way, twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to join anytime on stream. We do stream every single day. But we have these guys. They are stuck. Like, what are you doing here, sir? He's just constantly, he's vibing. He's uh, literally vibrating, and uh, I'm just going to set him free. He's been here for a couple episodes. If I fly across town, there's actually one more spot where people got stuck. And actually, this is a good time to show you. I started planting some of the cherry trees around town, and they are looking fantastic. Ooh, new beehives, too. But the cherry trees, I just started planting saplings here and there and seeing what would happen if they grew. And they bring so much more life to the areas. I love this. A little bit of pink here and there really brings out the details and pretty much everywhere in the town. But if we actually hop back over here towards the back of the cartography table, we have some villagers that seem to have gotten stuck. I don't know what it is about these flower pots with the azaleas or propagules, but uh, they, they get stuck. This guy's stuck. We have this guy right here. He's stuck. This guy over here is stuck. We even have a guy over here that's stuck. And no one, is, no one seems to be stuck in the one where I forgot to put a potted plant. So I guess what we'll have to do is take these potted plants out. They don't need to be there anyways. And if people are just going to get stuck, we don't need to be using people as decoration. These villagers can go out, reintegrate themselves into society and, uh, and you know, have a nice life. Go on, sir. Go back home. Be a fisherman. Be a farmer. Do it. Oh, no, he just wants to sleep. 
And real quick before we head out thousands of blocks for some sniffer eggs, I think I want to show you guys what we did on the last episode. We'll head through the nether portals. I'm really happy that we actually spent a lot of time making the nether highway extension over here so that we can just get to that uh, trail ruins in a matter of about like two minutes instead of a ten minute flight. Pulling up already. That guy better not hop down. Let's hop in here. And we are here. So uh, if you guys haven't had the chance to excavate one of these yet, I would do so. Because there is a lot of loot here. And it gives you the chance just to go ahead and take a step back and look at the naturally generated structures of the 1.2 update. This thing was very fun to build and excavate. I loved doing the retaining wall on the outside. And thank you for chilling on the streams that we did build this on. So I really appreciate you guys for joining. Using all these hanging signs as the wall is something that I really want to keep doing. And uh, man, I, I honestly just want to find more of these because all of that loot was really fun to gather. Flying back home real quick, going to the Strider Sanctuary from episode 36. I know I hadn't uh, actually named any of these guys yet. And you guys actually put a lot of fun names in the comment. But one really stuck out and that is Sammy. So Samuel the Strider is going to be in this world. We'll keep naming him, but I think this guy right here is Samuel. He looks like a Samuel, doesn't he? He's shaking his head no, like he doesn't want to be Samuel, but I, th I think he looks like a Samuel. I'm going to head out of here, though, because there's one more thing that we got to name as well. And this was a name that was thrown out on stream for one of the camels. And I don't know why, I just thought it was funny, and it hit me right in the funny bone. And uh, so I'm going to do it. And we have Cameraman the Camel. You, sir, are, are going to be our number one camel. We got to find more so that we can make more camels. Also, while we're back home, before we go out on the road, there's like, look at this, host armor trim. What's Wayfinder armor trim? Let's use this. I have the golden pants that I take to the nether every time, but I don't have any decoration on them. Let's use the quartz. What if we do this right here? That, oh, that's pretty cool. Hold on, let's take a look and see. Man, I am loving all of these armor trims. Now we can be in style when we go to the nether. And you know, while I'm flying out here, I was just thinking, some of those armor trims are pretty hard to find. Like, I think you have to go to some bastions. I think you can go to the jungle temple to find some. But I'm pretty sure you also have to go find an ancient city. And uh, there is just a small chance of finding an armor trim there, which is crazy. I haven't even been to an ancient city yet, so we'll see about that one. Flying over something here. Let's go down. There might be a little bit of suspicious sand or suspicious gravel down here. You are in the way, sir. You don't need to be here. You as well, be gone. There are so many drowned. Every time you come down here, I swear, there's just like 10 of them. Now we can do archaeology in peace. Let's, uh, come on, give me some sniffer eggs here. Suspicious sand right here. Is this gonna be some hay? Okay, yeah, I'll take some hay. Suspicious sand. Oh, is this a sniffer egg already? Oh my god, this is the third time's a charm, I guess. More suspicious sand down here. I kind of just want to, there might be some armor trims, actually, and some sherds that we haven't found yet. I'm just surprised at how fast we found that. I thought sniffer eggs were supposed to be rare. Coming back from a long Twitch stream, very long journey, we ended up going through maybe five or six different ocean ruin sites that we found. Got two sniffer eggs right here, as you can see. We only needed one, but we ended up getting two. We also have a bunch of sherds and coast armor trims that we found. I need to go bring those back to the house to organize. I was told on stream that actually if you place the sniffer eggs on moss, then they grow a little bit faster. So I'm going to place them here. This guy, uh, keep doing what you're doing. And what? The, oh my god, okay, we have a pitcher pod. Today could not be getting any better. Let's go ahead and just place this guy here. Can we bone meal these up? I think, yes, we can. That's a torch flower. Let's go. Man, I wish we could bone meal these just to make them multiply, but we cannot do that. Wait, can we make this grow? We can. We have a pitcher plant and we have a torch flower. So I'm actually starting to really love the ocean ruins journeys that we've been going on because there's also a lot of sunken ships where we can find buried treasure maps. Go get that buried treasure. There's a lot of loot here, man. We ended up finding an amethyst cluster too. We have a bunch of calcite and all of these sherds right here. There's We got a bunch of loot. I'm just, I'm really happy about it. And while I'm waiting for these guys to grow, I'm actually thinking we need to take some cherry logs out i would like to, actually well, that's a lot of cherry logs we definitely don't need that many but i'd like to what is going on here i just heard a crack out of the egg that is oh my god this one's cracking too that's crazy while these are continuing to crack a little bit longer i'd like to go search for the perfect spot to put the sniffer sanctuary trying to sniff out the best location possible we could go behind this cliff that we had built or we could go over on this brand new beach and actually i'd completely forgotten that we had this over here so uh, we have every single wood type lined up we have the both of the nether woods we have birch acacia dark oak and oak we have the spruce jungle we have the mangrove logs bamboo and and the cherry. I'm wondering if there's any tutorials for any like automatic log stripping machines. That would be kind of cool. But I guess until someone makes it, we're just going to be chilling here, stripping everything we possibly can because uh, those hanging signs, man, those are really important. And I am for sure going to be using cherry hanging signs on this next build. So the cherry stripped logs are very much necessary. Take some big hops over this way. I think we're gonna end up using this space in between the bamboo farm and the dragon egg shrine to do the sniffer sanctuary. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the dragon egg shrine, I don't even know if I ever showed it off on camera for the let's play. I did this in a long play while I was gone. There's actually a few long plays that I don't even know if I showed off. 
Get our handy dandy water bucket over here to help us clear all this out. We'll go one over here and we'll go two over here. Well, all right, we got a little bit of a space cleared out. Let's uh, let the building begin. Let's, I don't want to do a mini tower kind of by the dragon egg shrine. We go over here just to kind of get a little bit of a layout going for a pink of a base here. And then I'm going to use oak logs for the outside, how we always put logs on the outside. This time I'm going to do pink in the middle. And uh, if we strip the logs, I think it'll, yeah, this is going to be a good color. Now there's a small dilemma because I have all, I mean, I know the cherry wood and the oak wood. I think they do look good together. Uh, some might say not, but I think they look pretty good. If you put a little bit of birch in there too, I think that's a little bit of good contrast. Two kind of neutral types of wood on the pink background. The gray of the stone bricks and the cobblestone I think looks really good. But then also the cobbled deep slate is kind of a good mixture of the two. So I'm kind of, I think they all look good, but I'm not sure which one of these stones I like using more on the roof. I guess there's only one way to find out though, so let's, uh, I guess let's just build the initial, like, simple part of the structure, and then we'll get a fencing system up around here so the sniffers can go inside and outside. The sniffing has officially tripled. We have a big sniffer here, and we got two little baby sniffers here, and the baby sniffers are actually pretty big. I mean, not compared to the big ones, though. As we turn around, though, we do have a little bit of a structure. We've been working on a live stream to get this done here, and I decided, you know what? Roof for the deep slate and the bottom foundation for the regular stone. I figured, why not go ahead and use both? But we're going to go ahead real quick and get some of the glass right down here. And after stripping all that wood, we finally got enough hanging signs to go ahead and make a wall with these. So I think I'm going to use the cherry hanging signs. Taking a step back here real quick, and you know what? I actually really like that. And actually on this side, we do have a little bit of a moss bridge that we've started making. I think what I'm going to do is take this floor out and uh, actually just make it a taller ceiling for the sniffers down here. Because actually, uh, the only way to get in there, I'm going to make an entrance into this little tower here. You go up a ladder, go across the moss bridge, and then you can kind of look at them from above. These sniffers are actually going to go down here. And when they get pitcher plant pods and the torch flower seeds, then I'm going to have a hopper system that collects everything. But before we start working on the interior redstone components, I actually would like to get some of this exterior finished here. Let's actually hop over. Let's get some deep slate on this roof so we can get this done here. Start working our way up slowly. Actually, I ended up making the roof a little bit uh, steeper than I thought I was going to. Let's go ahead and finish up these spruce buttons over here. I think I'm actually going to use the collected torch flowers and put them on the roof over here because it is the sniffer sanctuary after all. And these torch flowers look amazing. I made a tiny little farm, and uh, also the pitcher plants are over there as well. We have a bunch of pitcher pods, torch flower seeds to replant over here, because these sniffers, they once you have more than two, like they just start, they just start pumping them out. A creeper accidentally, uh, you know, he, he he came over here and exploded, kind of ruined the good times uh, just a little bit. And uh, we're gonna have to replenish half of the torch flowers that we had. Let's take all these out real quick, and let's grab these pitcher plants. The pitcher pods are crazy. I mean, this right here looks like a plant, but this kind of just looks like a faded eyeball. Get these planted also. I actually wanted to run over here because uh, I have some pitcher plant ideas and some torch flower ideas. And I am still just so hyped that we have a new tall flower here. And dude, these snippers are so loud, but this tall flower, the pitcher plant, is it's just perfect. I love it. And these torch flowers, when they go on the pots here, they look stunning. They are most definitely my new favorite flower at the moment. We really got to finish this roof here on the side tower, and I think I'm going to top it off with the cherry wood. Actually, wait, while I have it on me, I totally forgot. I have it right in my hot bar here. I have the verdant frog lights that I brought over for a little bit of light on this bridge. It's going to look a little bit weird under it, but I might just cover that up with some trap doors. But right on top here, oh man, if I can jump up there, I, I apparently I can't jump up there. But right on top, oh, there we go. It's going to look kind of, I like that. It's going to brighten up the sides here. Also, more torch flowers, because why not? This is coming together. We have the deep slate, the stone, the cherry wood, the spruce, and the oak. And now the birch all coming together to make a pretty solid build. I also forgot. We should actually, you know what? Let's just go down here right now. We need to make a little bit of a staircase. Dude, these guys are so loud, man. But we need to make a staircase going down here because uh, we need to make a big hopper system. Like a big hopper system. This entire area right in here, it's going to be covered in. I think we're going to have to have like at least two staircases stacks of hoppers going in. Probably have a chest system that'll drop us off right about here. Let's head on down and clear this out. I don't have another beacon over here for haste 2 at the moment, but honestly, it's okay. Let's just go back to our roots and just do some regular mining for a moment. 
started planting the pitcher pods in here too. These guys are just sniffing everything up here that they absolutely can. I'm going to run over here to the storage system where everything's getting collected and brought over to. Everything in the field in the inside here is getting brought over here. So far we got six pitcher pods and four torch flower seeds. Not too bad. Let's go back outside. I am really enjoying making more sniffers. So let's go here. You guys make some sniffers. Get me a sniffer egg right there. And then how about you and you make another sniffer egg? That'd be really cool if you did. Let's go ahead and get some of these sniffer eggs on the inside where the redstone is actually going to be spending most of its time bringing it over to the storage. I'm excited to be able to use pink petals as decoration too because we can go through and just put a pink petal here and there and then actually run back with the bone meal and we can multiply it up up to I think four blocks. Yeah, you can do four times on each block. Pink petals are amazing. They just add flowers and spots that you didn't know you needed them in. This guy is, oh god, I can, I forgot to even, okay, get back in there. What are you doing? So get over there. Get, thank you very much. Let's take this down. We need more fence gates. Looks like you can also just spam the bone meal in here. This is kind of crazy looking and a very fast way of getting the pink petals. Got some pink petals up in here too. It looks like this thing is still going strong. I'm going to go ahead and close this up for good. Taking a look back and I am actually noticing, okay, we have some spruce buttons that we did not place and that actually might be it for the rest of the build because I don't know what else we missed. Hop over here, let's get that guy, and hop over here, let's get that guy. I used a little bit of the fire and the glowstone on the roof here to get some light. We used pretty much everything that we could, and actually, I am. this is making me so excited because we have these builds that are creeping up over here on this end, and I have been waiting for the buildings to get over here because I can build a nice little harbor over here in a brand new long play, and that is, oh man, I am hyped for that. I think we can actually take down the beacon and we have basically every sign ready to go. Yeah, we're going to need to make a brand new hanging sign storage. Let's take down this beacon too because it's uh, pretty much in the way. I th actually, as soon as I said that, I remember there is one thing that I wanted to put on the roof and that's some of these leaves here. I have some of the cherry leaves and I would like to start incorporating these onto any of the cherry roofs. Slap ourselves down on the roof. So the cherry leaves, I kind of just wanted to just like every once in a while with one of these stairs, just replace it with a leaf to make it seem like it's kind of overgrown. Grown. Hey, and the leaves are not looking too bad. I like that little detail, especially with those torch flowers up here too. I'm really liking this build with the cherry leaves and cherry wood. I'm just, ah oh man, I'm just still really hyped on this update. And I didn't even realize the eggs hatched. We got a little baby sniffer right here. They really do go quick with the moss. I think what I'm going to do is actually take this guy and kind of just drag him on in here because I think it's I think it's just necessary. I can't believe this is real. This is such a crazy update and this sanctuary for the sniffers is just man, I I like I can't believe this is in our world. That is going to be it though for this episode guys. I do appreciate it. Next episode we are going to tackle a home for those camels. But thanks again for watching. I do appreciate y'all. Thank you for coming along on the Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxrod if you want to come anytime. We do stream every single day. Man these striders are huge. They keep getting in the way of the camera. But guys I just really do appreciate y'all. Thank you for the support. I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. Bye.